is I just wanted to show you how I edit my videos. So what I usually do is I is I record on my Arch Linux machine, but since there's no decent editor there, I copy them over to the to the Mac OS X and um, I'm careful to sort of label every file. Um, you know, if if I'm recording with my GoPro or my iPhone, getting to the stage is actually like half the work. Organizing the media that you want to edit and and combine. So once I got it in a folder on my desktop, then I launch Final Cut Pro, and then I'm and then I um, prepare my my brain for um, for some torture. The big thing I find, the big problem I find with Final Cut Pro is this whole project event, whatever. Um, you know, I'm, I I want to create a new v movie now, and now I'm like, I have to sit here looking at project event library. What do I want? Um, the trouble is, I think, like other Apple software, it wants to collate all your media into a library, which I think is a terrible idea, and I hate and I avoid it as much as possible. I just want my files in a directory and I just want the output. I don't want anything in between. All that magic, you take care of it. I don't want to think about it and I don't want you to take it lot, lots of disk space. Um, so usually what I end up doing is just creating an event um, because I think this untitled thing is the project and events are, you know, I still don't even know. So I end up just going like new, am I supposed to create a project every time I create a video? You tell me guys. And then I usually call it like the payment video or something like that. Payment video. And it gives me an option to create a new project there. So am I supposed to create a new project then? And then then I have to like select payment video. Right, yeah, now, now I'm there. Yeah, now I'm there. And uh, And now this button here imports my stuff to find it now it's over here in the payment video and I'm grabbing it um, all these options that I couldn't care less about and here it is my videos um, now the trouble I find is sometimes I accidentally do something stupid like this right see how it's just highlighted that that two-thirds of the video and then when I when I move it down to the timeline I um, only later I realized that I've only got two thirds of the video. Um, I don't, is there a way of just sort of like not clipping it in this clip folder? I just want to be able to like hit a bind, like I don't know what that bind is, and then it goes straight into the timeline. It's not open in timeline, I can tell you that much. You'd think it's this button, wouldn't you? You'd think of this; it would be this button. But no, the user experience um, it, it it confuses you because it, that button actually means import new media. It doesn't mean drop that clip into the timeline. Um, and yeah, I just hate this. So yeah, these are my these are my hurdles when I get started on the final crop stuff. I, th I, I, I can make a lot of videos, but what other thing is annoying me about this?